I am walking to Ford Field to get my first vaccination shot. I am getting the Pfizer one. Um, I'll be honest with you. So I am a little nervous. No, I am a lot nervous, but I believe that this is the first step to beat this deadly virus that I have been reporting on for over a year now. For months, I have been back and forth thinking about getting the vaccine. One day, I was all for it. And then the next day, I'm like, nope, I'm good. But after much research and talking to my parents who are both vaccinated, I knew this was the right thing to do. And after arriving to Ford Field, I realized I wasn't the only one. There were literally thousands of people waiting in line, just like me, for what many are calling the shot of hope. So I am inside Ford Field and they're having me fill out this little questionnaire, um, questionnaire form. Although the line was wrapped around the building, the process didn't take long. Sooner than I realized, it was time. That's it? That's it. All right, <laughs> first one's done. That was really quick. And just like that, I'm done. But I realized there weren't many young people between that crucial age range of 20 through 39. Detroit Chief Health Officer Denise Fair says that's a big problem. A lot of young people are healthy. Um, they don't have any chronic diseases, but they could be asymptomatic. So they could be a carrier for COVID and not even know it. And they're spreading it around to their family and friends. And don't think just because you're young that you are immune to COVID-19. That's definitely a lie. I want to take this time to encourage more young people who are on the fence to do your research to make an informed decision. Talk to your family members, your experts, your friends, your loved ones. It's all about making sure you protect yourself, your loved ones, and the community. I'm Larry Sproul, Local 4.